Hello everyone, this is Les with Perlemon, and today I'll be doing a review on this tool called SiteGuru. If you're looking for your own SEO tool, feel free to visit ours at surpwiz.com to see if it is a tool for you. But let's go ahead and get started. So today I'll be talking about this tool called SiteGuru, and it's quite the impressive tool, very easy to use, which is always one of my favorite to kind of review. So it is an SEO tool that will help tell you how to get more traffic. It offers insights, different kind of, I guess you can say, advice to kind of change. Like I said, insights, so different problematic areas that you can kind of use as opportunities to grow. They give you a score of kind of, kind of how well your site is. And you can add up to multiple sites if you have multiple. And it'll tell you the pages and the page views. And it is only takes... 15 minutes just to kind of see how SiteGuru can help out all of your SEO needs within that site. So super easy, super quick. The homepage does a really great breakdown of how it works. So essentially you basically add a site and it takes about 15 minutes to kind of do the website audit and it'll gather everything that it kind of needs to tell you, hey, maybe you can improve on X, Y, and Z. And so here are all the SEO tests that you would probably need. It will also identify any opportunities that you could automatically do as well. And then you can automatically get updates as soon as um, you're changing your site. You can get that SEO audit updated quickly and never miss a beat with anything. So let's go ahead into our pricing before I show you my dashboard to kind of break down and see how it works. Alrighty, so if we go over here, we can kind of see the pricing. So we have the starter, the medium, and the agency. And so this is very beneficial to see. It mainly goes based off of the number of websites you have. So if you are mainly only working on one website, then the starter is perfect for you. But if you're like us and have multiple websites, then we need the agency or medium plan, depending on how many websites you have. So that's very essential to see. And then it kind of breaks down what the plan includes, the unlimited users, the support, the Google Analytics integration, and Google Search Console integration. So this makes it a lot easier instead of a tool being set off aside on its own. It does integrate with Google Analytics and Search Console, so they work hand in hand. You know, you're not getting misinformation, you're getting the same, and it's consistent, and it's kind of using that information that Google is giving you to build off of that and kind of see hmm, what can we do to make it better. So overall, take a look through these. The main difference, as I said, is the number of websites. So very easy to choose. Let's go ahead and go into our dashboard. Alrighty, so we have our Pearl Lemon, which is one of our oldest um, sites. We have newer and newer ones that we are building. And so it's very easy, like I said, we have our overview, and this is where we would get all of our SEO to-do lists. So I already did the SEO audit because it only takes 15 minutes. Um, so you would just be sitting, me, sitting here watching me for 15 minutes. So I went ahead and did the SEO audit for that, and this is what we got based on it. So here we have the SEO to-do list. As you can see, it gives us some advice. You know, we can improve meta descriptions, It'll say, you know, which ones we need to improve. So that's very beneficial. It's very specific. It doesn't just say, hey, here's a problem. They tell you exactly which pages are affected, the impact it has on your site, you know, how is it hurting it, X, Y, and Z. So that's very beneficial to see. They're not just kind of, you know, telling you just this one piece of information and then you kind of have to go and find it. It's very helpful, very easy. So here... We see a certain amount of affected pages, a certain amount of affected pages. It also tells you the impact that it has. You know, broken links, as we know, have such a high impact, and that is the color red. And then the medium impact ones are the yellow. So here we can do alt text, more and more pages, click to see more tasks, the yellow, and then overall the enable page speed check if you want to. So quite a bit, and that's just the SEO to-do list. So I do like the way that it's kind of set up for you. Very easy, very quick, and not overwhelming. And then you can go and look at the pages if you want to, and it gives you a score of those pages. 
So 87, 62, um, overall pretty good, pretty good. Scrolling down. So here we have some, and I remember looking at these, these are duplicated pages. So they are getting a fairly low score. And let's go ahead and go back. Alrighty, so that was the pages. Let's go ahead and look at the timeline. Alrighty, here we go. So here is the health timeline of your site, and it gives you this timeline over here. So in order to get that, you kind of have to do your audit multiple, multiple times, obviously, because it won't be um, tracking the information unless you see changes. So right now, since I haven't done the audit multiple times um, for it to track information, it's pretty consistent. So that's what you would have to do. And then we're going to go to the content section right here. So this is one of my favorite sections. Um, for those who don't know me, I am the head of content. So I do like to see what we can do to kind of better that aspect in terms of the SEO content side of things. And so here, we'll just give it one moment. Alrighty, so the site grew tool actually did an audit um, right during my video, so I had to wait for that. But it looks like we have more pages. And so they did a site crawl completed. And here is the content section, as I was saying. So here are the page titles. You can look at the meta descriptions, the headings, the images, the OG tags. So we could just scroll through here, look at all our titles, the length. We can look at the cert preview, the page report, etc. We can even see if it's duplicated or not. And we can also download if needed, so that's very helpful. Moving on to the technical kind of tab that we have. Alrighty, so in order to do the technical part, you would have to look at the page speed. So enable the page speed check if you want to. You can also look at the indexing, the sitemaps, the sitemaps, the structured data etc and so forth so here we have the indexation so the index any indexable issues that we can see here etc and so forth so that's very helpful to see because we do see um, we do upload pages daily so that's very helpful to look at and then we can look at the overall links and I think it's also working on my report still, so that's completely okay. So here's where you look at the links. We can look at the broken links, the internal links, internal redirects, and external links. So overall, you're still getting quite a bit. And as for the insights, you do have to connect your Google Search Console and Google Analytics. That's a separate person's job, so they have to do that for me. Um, but this is where, as I mentioned, you get a lot more insights based on kind of getting a better flow with the Google information that you're getting with Insight Guru as well. So it's nothing that's overlapping, um, nothing that is kind of doesn't make sense with either or of the tools. So that's very helpful to see. Overall, as you can tell, it just seems very simple, very easy to look at. And that's one of my favorite things about this tool is that it's very easy, very user friendly. I am the head of content and I don't really have you know, much of an SEO um, understanding only to the extent of what I'm learned, uh, what I learned within the content team. And so this is very helpful for someone like me who may not understand. So I definitely would recommend and also it does help even if you're an expert to just have it done quickly, look at it, see what you need to do, and then do your work from there. So that's very, very helpful. It's very helpful to kind of delegate those tasks and quickly come up with you know an audit per month and say hey this is what we need to do and so that's very helpful to see as for my cons i don't really have any personal cons in my opinion um i feel like they're pretty forthgiving with all of their pricing plans i definitely would say maybe they can do the scale feature so for those who haven't seen um with certain tools they will change the price based on um, a certain amount of whatever. So if they do a scale, if you have, you know, a thousand followers or a thousand sites or a thousand pages, a thousand words, et cetera, and so forth, that increases your pricing. So maybe that may be a little more helpful to get a more diverse um, audience and make sure they cater towards everyone. Other than that, I don't have a complaint about the pricing plans. I feel like it's still pretty forthgiving. 
other than that i think that's pretty much it so if you have any experiences with the tool feel free to comment down your experience down below and put any questions comments or concerns as well other than that thank you so much for watching